Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new Sheng Shao Mini 5x5. Uh, this is considerably smaller. I will also compare it to a Sheng Shao Wind as well. You can see the difference in size here. Wow, that is super, super small and I wonder how it's going to be for solving. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the box. So this is the box. It says six and up here on this side we have Ling Long. I'm not sure what that means. If you guys know what the relevance of that is to this puzzle, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Um, you know, basic stuff. You go ahead and pause this and read that if you would like. Bottom of the box made in China and top of the box is just the five by five. So I'm actually really curious about this. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I can see already that they have changed their color scheme from the last time that I got a Sheng Shao. This looks like it's been opened. It's very greasy as well. Let me get that off. There we go. That's a lot better. So this is a 57 millimeter cube, meaning it's the same size as a three by three. And I got to say, holding it in my hands, it is very small. And I can see right now that the yellow or the, sorry, the um, orange and green are different than their usual Sheng Shao stuff that they came out with in the past. In fact, on the cubicle.us's website, it does say that this comes with the Moyu color scheme. Um, now, if you wanted fitted stickers for this, it suggests to get 7x7, 7 7, 77 millimeter stickers. So I guess that you would get them and you wouldn't use them all. It's just the centers of those and you'd leave the edges around. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, check out the color scheme. And right away, I can tell first turns are pretty decent as well. So this is the color scheme now. Obviously, it's the Moyu color scheme, so we have seen this before. But it still looks very nice. So yeah, with those first turns, I can feel the outer layers feel a little bit bumpy. Uh, corner cutting. It, it feels like other Sheng Shao 5x5s in the past. Like it's, got, it's a bit snappy. It doesn't flow quite as well as the Moyu's. But it seems to be pretty good. Yeah, I can definitely feel that this thing has definitely got to uh, get tensioned. So I will make sure to do that. And I'm going to do a solve. I'll probably do a double solve of this and go head to head and show you both of those at the same time. It's a compact 5x5. Five five. I've never seen a compact 5x5. Five five. I've seen compact 4x4s, four compact 3x3s, three even 2x2s. Two two. There's keychain 2x2s, two but no 5x5s no five five that are small. And if you can carry around a 3x3 three three with you, you can carry around this with you as well. For only $9.50, it's definitely a really good option for 5x5. Five five. Uh, again, like I haven't set it up yet and I will. And then uh, I'll show you pieces as well and do some solves and then end with my final thoughts on it. So let's go ahead, set this up, show you the pieces, get into the solving, finish up the video. So this is one of the centerpieces of the 5x5, and in my opinion, uh, there's not a whole lot of advancements in this design. It looks very similar to everything else that we've seen in the past. Uh, this is actually my favorite looking piece on a 5x5. It's the other centerpiece. Uh, here we have an edge piece. This is also looking very familiar to a lot of the new things with these flares out the bottom and stuff like that. Uh, here is the corner piece. Now this one does have a bulge in the center as well as some other ones that have been coming out. But this one is, is much of a bigger bulge on there. I'm not sure why they did that, but um, this is the other type of edge piece as well. Uh, it's a little bit thicker. This is the center edge piece and you can see that they go together and kind of lock together and you can see um, how they fit together in this way. And uh, here you have the 5x5 five five next to a 3x3. Three three. This is next to a Waylong GTS. You can see it's just slightly bigger than that by I think like 0.5 millimeter or something. Uh, and of course we have the puzzle itself. And uh, so I'm going to show you a couple solves. Now I'm, I'm taking the Sheng Shao Mini on the left to the Sheng Shao Wind, which I'm just calling regular size on the right. Also went and tensioned this puzzle and lubed it as well. I didn't do anything to the uh, regular size Shang Shao Win, just the mini one. And the tensions I found were a little bit too tight and it made the outsides a bit grindy. And uh, when I loosened the tensions, I loosened them about half a turn on each side and I thought that was okay because it really opened up the layers and allowed it to move a lot better and it didn't feel so grindy. Uh, but then I did a couple of solves and uh, I popped both times. One of them I got on camera, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, it was an edge piece that popped out actually, not the center piece, which is usually what pops out on a 5x5, five five, or you get that center piece twist and it kind of jams up your puzzle and it's a, kind of a pain to get back. Um, but yeah, so I, I tightened it again about a quarter turn and that fixed the popping problem. So now I'm not popping at all. 
and uh, and then I lubed it with Maru Lube. Now usually I use uh, silicone oil. Um, I have a whole bunch of different viscosities from the cubicle, and uh, but I didn't do that on this because in my experience, I guess maybe I over lube bigger puzzles like five by five and up. But when I do it, it tends to slow it down. So I just added Maru Lube, and that fixed the problem uh, of it uh, being a little bit grindy again from turning it a quarter turn tighter. And so now it, it moves very, very well. And as far as the size goes itself, like solving on a mini 5x5, I have to say, if, if you're trying to speed cube on it, it, for me at least, it is a little bit too small. Uh, but, you know, I did the filming of the mini one before I did the regular size one. And it's funny because uh, after doing a bunch of solves on the mini one, I got kind of used to it. It's still a little bit hard to control and move layers uh, when you're used to the regular size one. I think if I solved it longer, you know, it wouldn't be, uh, I'd get more used to it. But because I filmed so many with the mini one, and then I went to the regular size one, the regular size felt huge in my hands. Like I thought, I questioned, is this puzzle an oversized? Is the Sang Shao win an oversized five by five? And then I went to the website and I looked and it's the same dimensions as most other 5x5s and then I grabbed some of my other 5x5s and it's the same size. So uh, it really like screwed with my head because I, I thought for sure it was bigger because I was so used to holding a smaller 5x5. So that was a little bit interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's uh, for me uh, a little bit too small. It, it definitely will not be my main by any means. Um, and you can see here I just finished on the Sheng Shao Wind with a time of 2.35, 35, and then the Mini came in at 2.39. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Well guys, what do I think of the Sheng Shao Mini 5x5? Well, I can tell you it's not going to be my main. I have pretty big hands, and as fun as this is to solve because of its small size, uh, if I'm going to speed solve something, it's going to be something that's bigger and more fit for my hands. So if you're a smaller person or a younger person, this might be a pretty good buy for you if you've ever found a regular size 5x5 just a little bit too big. Uh, now the con to that is that the mechanism isn't nearly as good as the full size 5x5s we're seeing from Moyu and stuff. Um, so it is a little bit bumpy, it is a little bit grindy. Uh, one thing is that if you're just gonna get into 5x5 and you don't know if you're gonna like it or not and you don't wanna spend a ton of money, for $9.50, this is a very good option for you. Um, so for anybody who's just getting into cubing, want to get into 5x5 and you're a bit smaller, this here I would definitely highly recommend to you. Uh, you might have to back off the tensions and lube it, but then again if you're just getting into 5x5 and you're just getting into cubing, uh, you may not have a preference for those type of things, so it may just be great out of the box for you. Um, now I do get pretty close to my average with this, but I don't get my average with this. And the reason is because my hands are huge and the puzzle is small. So I personally wouldn't use this as my main because I just have bigger hands. If I had smaller hands, I might consider it, but I still don't really quite think that it's going to be used for any serious competition. Uh, I don't think we're going to see this in world speed, you know, world class speed solvers' hands anytime soon. Um, that being said, awesome. It's a very good first cube for people. And uh, for $9.50 on the cubicle.us, which you can get in the link in the description, definitely a very good buy. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video.